G'day everyone. Uh, I thought I would just update my uh, build guides with an absolute budget version. Uh, probably the cheapest way that you can uh, build out my character. So what I have done is I have gone to the market and I've bought a base item level 85 helmet, chest, gloves, boots, two wands, an amulet, two rings and a belt all for one flame elementium each um, this is absolute bare bones basic um, <clears throat> I might even unequip my hero memories so we get a fair idea of what to expect now uh, what we need to do is obviously replace everything that I am wearing. I've been playing Diablo 3, so I'm a bit rusty with the controls. We'll just put all this on here. Install, install, install. Uh, helmet. And this is my good one. Where's the one I just bought? And the other ring. All right. <clears throat> so this is the base gear that we've just bought. As you can see, we're not res capped. So we need 135% um, erosion resistance, about 60% lightning, 60% cold, and 70% fire res. So if you're just starting out and you just got to maps, um, you can buy most of the embers for straight off the market, um, 99 tenacity for um, one flame elementium. That is the resistances um, tenacity. So you just go down to the arm stealer. Oh, I'm so slow. Uh, go craft. Uh, any of the items that we just got. Oh, this ring was one and it had 33 flame, uh, lightning res on it, so I got it anyway. Um, tenacity, we'll just craft a few times. Uh, we don't want to go over the lightning unless we get a good one. There we go. Cold res, fire res, sure. Why not? First item, done. Now we change it for the other ring. Now, remember, this is absolute bare bones uh, beginner stage of what you want to do. So I'm just trying to make this as absolutely cheap as possible. Um, let's see what our res is now that we've done the two rings. We are almost res cap on those, but we still need erosion res. So we'll try and get erosion on boots, uh, gloves and then see how we're doing. So let's go gloves, they're fire already. So we need erosion, there we go. We've got 15 erosion. Um, can we get another one? 31 cold. All right, let's just quickly triple check. So we're res cap on fire and, uh, fire and cold. Now we just need 35 lightning and some erosion. So we'll keep going. Um, that one's done. F was lightning and erosion, I believe. All, excellent. Lightning, excellent. And can we get erosion in the last slot? There we go, 15 erosion. That's a pretty decent chest. Uh, what else do we have? We've got the neck. It's got minion damage on it, which is pretty okay. Uh, we need erosion. <clears throat> oh, going too fast, and I clicked past 28 erosion, which is pretty decent. Uh, we haven't really spent much currency on crafting at all. We're probably not even up to one flame elementium yet which shows you how unbelievably cheap it is to get this going. Um, there we go, 27 erosion. Let's just see where we're at. 
minus three, so we need erosion on boots and helmet. Uh, boots. Tenacity. Come on, be kind. Give me erosion. It's gonna be pretty decent other reses actually. I probably could have gone for tier two other res and uh, crafted on some other stuff instead. However, just want to make this as quick as possible. Oh, 53 lightning. It's hard to go past a tier one um, roll like that. We're massively overcapped lightning res now, but that's fine. Come on, give me erosion. Not on top of the lightning, thanks. There we go, 25 erosion. What was the last piece? It was the helmet. Tenacity, we just need T1 erosion. Then we'll just have a quick other look. There you go, 24 erosion. All right, let's have another look at where we're at. Probably good enough for a starter. So 46, we're not res cap on that. Um, that's okay. That's just got erosion. So now we want some max life and um, we don't even really need the damage, I don't believe. So let's try and get some life, which is vigor. Regen, perfect. <laughs> I'll take it, and perfect. All right, two crafts. We got a tier one and a tier two. That's pretty damn good. Uh, pretty lucky for what we're doing. Helmet, we want, um, yeah, regen. And uh, minion max life's probably good. And max life for us. Awesome. <clears throat> Can we get a, another res or something? Um, soul burst. Car speed's no good, car speed's no good. Crit strike rating, that's pretty cool. Anything? All right, one more. Nope, all right, cool. That's that for that. What else have we got? We've got a ring, that's pretty average, honestly. Um, We'll get some life. Lost 14 fire. Sure, whatever. Wasn't really that good. Mana regen speed was probably good. It's better than the spell damage. Spell damage doesn't do anything for us. 13% life regen speed. Yep, sweet. Um, that's going to cost one flame elementum to put another one on there. So we're done with that ring. Let's have a quick squiz. Still res cap. Um, that neck needs some work. So we'll craft on uh, some life. Not in, at the expense of the erosion, obviously. Come on, give me a T2. Max mana, max life. Regen. Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> oh, I think I'm spending too much time on this. So, whatever that will do. Oops, just wasted one. Uh, so, oh, weapons. I didn't do anything with weapons. All right, weapons, you just want some minion damage. Minion max life if you can get it. Um, so let's go minion damage, yep. Uh, what's the other one? Minion max life. Max, 52% max mana, sure, whatever. Regen speed, minion life. That's a lot of max mana. 
sure. Fifteen percent, whatever. Uh, the other weapon will do the same. So amplified for minion damage. Come on, there we go. Sixty-two percent. Obviously, you would if you've got the materials and the the currency for better, you would craft better. However, we're just keeping this as absolutely bare bones cheap as possible. We don't want that over the minion damage. Come on. Fine, whatever. I don't know why it's giving me so much mana. It's crazy. I'll take T1 minion life over that. Alright, so just with that we are insanely slow. Uh, probably because we haven't sorted out our energy. Alright. Oh. Gear empowerment. I'll just fix up the energy on these items. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty garbage. We'll just go reasonably high. Energy is super, super cheap. You get about a uh, thousand per one flame elementium. Come on, give me something reasonable. 55, that'll do. Should take that 49. Right, I'm going to pause this and I'll come back when I've uh, got these reasonable. Alrighty, so I've just crafted, I've pressed it about five times. So I've got 30% movement speed on the boots. No, we don't want that. There we go, now we have them on. Alright, now we're moving a little bit faster. So let's do a quick DPS check. So we're doing reasonably terrible damage. Did that activate the... No, it didn't. Stop recounting. So 70, 80 million damage for approximately... Um, what did we spend? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11 flame elementium, including the crafting. Uh, now we can buy some quick um, hero relics and memories. We don't want those. We want overloading core. We want search. We want uh, minion max life and minion damage is probably pretty cheap. Where is it? Minion. Ah, oh, it doesn't have. All right, whatever. One, that will do. One second. All right, so we've got the overloading core. Let's go back. Let's go hero memories, base, excess, uh, minion life and minion damage. Come on, I'd hero memories have minion damage though? Wait, right there. Derp. Search one. One and that's pretty low is another. One that's reasonable. Claim all those. That's another four flame elementium, so we're up to about 15. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Yep. Yep. And yep. Alright, now let's check the damage. 
Around about 100. It's not great. It's not the worst I've ever seen. But it's pretty good for um, 15 Flame Elementium. You won't get much better than that. My skills are all level 20. So if you just set it is 100 million damage, I don't have any Path of Brave one so let's test it out in a two see how we go should be viable it's definitely going to be um a tier seven map viable a path of brave two is pretty hard for most builds i would say it's pretty Impossible for most builds on a 15 flame millimetium budget. You have to walk around a bit, uh, which is fine. And considering how cheap you can still get um, Path the Brave tokens, uh, you can still sell one flame millimetium for 600 oblivion points and then sell 99 Oblivion points for one Proof of the Brave 3. So you could easily get a Proof of the Brave 1 or a Proof of the Brave 2 for 99 Oblivion tokens as well. And as you can see, this is really quite doable. We just made one Flame Elementium back. Not bad for a 15 FE a budget. And we haven't, oh, I was about to say we haven't died yet. Almost died. That's fine. I'll skip to the boss and then I'll show you the boss. All right, we had another flame elementium drop. It's pretty good. So two FE from this uh, on a 15 FE budget. Boss has taken a bit of a uh, beating compared to my end game budget. However, to get to end game, all you need to do is get this 15 FE budget, do some maps, get some better gear. Obviously, you want to craft um, tier one on all your stuff. Uh, it's much cheaper to craft it than to buy it, especially at this point in the league. Um, so you can craft uh, near-perfect weapons for about um, 15 to 20 flame elementium. And then um, the last step is the step that can cost up to about 150, 160 flame elementium. Um, so getting up to, getting five... Um, affixes is really quite cheap um, however getting the sixth is where it really really costs so that is the gear overview and the path of brave 2 example uh, going over the skills we have the first spider tank with mechanical mod crit strike chance crit strike damage tendon slicer and steamroll uh, the second six link is the same except without tendon slicer and putting on mark. Um, compound potion with residues. That means that when you reach max life, max mana, it doesn't just stop. It continues for a little bit. Uh, a defensive uh, barrier refresh. Some movement. Uh, regen. You'll only have a normal uh, seal conversion. Uh, precise seal conversion is quite expensive it's like 180 flame elementium it just means you don't reserve as much life uh, and your magical source is uh, life regen as well due to talents we have precise oh just use fearless weapon amp uh, and selfless because you don't need to benefit from these and your auto defense with reform stone skin when you get more um, energy can activate more of those um, frost shield and restrain just so it um, 
takes less uh, mana to seal, so 10% less. Uh, so that's the skills overview. Now looking at the uh, passives, the talents uh, on Alchemist. This is what we're looking at. Chance to gain barrier when you receive a severe injury uh, is quite nice. Here we have 25% um, of life is added to barrier absorption and ES. Um, and this is where your mana regen applies to your life as well. Machinist. With boss for plus one synthetic troop max and reduce damage taken while moving. We're going to barrier every five meters. God of Machines. With orders for minion damage, um, cast skill speed, and Mighty Guard plus three minion skill level is better than anything else in the game. So always go with more minion skill levels wherever you can. Uh, that's a quick look at the budget version. I'll now switch back to my uh, damage version. My pack scripts are all damage as well. Um, so I'll quickly switch to damage and show that. Alrighty, so now that we're on my damage spec, um, the trick to testing the amount of damage that you do is you wail away on the test dummy for about 30 seconds. Um, if you have a um, thunder spirit in your passives, it can do zero damage. Um, so you would do damage up until the 30 second mark. Go to your skills, switch out uh, this for uh, Thunder Spirit. Install that, remove your spider tanks so they stop doing damage. Go out. That didn't work. I didn't activate him. So he is going to deal zero damage. Uh, you wait until the duration um, amount, well, you wait until the average DPS span in span of time goes below uh, a billion. So I'll stop this and I'll... Alright, so it was 2 minutes and 48 seconds, that seems a bit low, normally goes to about 3 minutes and 10. Uh, maybe I haven't put everything back on, but uh, so you go uh, 120 plus 48, so that's 168 seconds, so 168 billion. Uh, yep, divided by 30 is 5.6 billion uh, DPS. So it's the amount of seconds times by a billion divided by the duration that you're hitting, which is 30 seconds. Um, so we'll put our skills back on. Switch this back to auto defense. Skills are exactly the same as um, the budget version, however, I've now got all the energy in the world, so I can equip everything. Uh, the maximum hit that you can do in this game is 2.1 billion, which is a shame because this spec gets to 2.1 billion really, really easily. Um, so I think if there wasn't that limiter on it, uh, you would be hitting for, I don't know, maybe 10 billion on your big hits. but. That's a limitation of the coding, the integers and all that. Um, so there's nothing that we can do about that. Maybe they'll change it next league. Uh, looking at the gear, I have a Fiend Crown. I bought this with um, memory shards. Oh, 
um, and handed it in. Cost about 120 flame elementium. I self crafted the chest. Uh, if you're self crafting all of your uh, gear, I suggest you get a spreadsheet. Um, you look at the uh, negatives that all of your uh, resistances are and just work out which piece you're going to put what resistance on uh, so you don't overcompensate and uh, fall short on some things when you are crafting. So wherever possible your items will have minion damage, minion uh, max life, max life and then some resistances. So the chest is uh, self-crafted as I said. The gloves I I think I found this pair uh, doing the um, Keegan. I think it's Keegan, or no, the it's the Void Sea. So it's the the pirate boss. Um, I did a test and I had a couple of these drops. So that's not too bad. Warden's breast pin. I had this drop, so I corrupted it. Didn't get anything good. Um, I had one of these corrupted. Ah, uh, drop. I don't think it was this one, but I corrupted this anyway because I was looking for um, lucky strikes. Um, these are about 40 flame elementium at the moment. The belt, Winter of Origin, I bought this for about 7 flame elementium and corrupted it. Now, if you're trying to get one of these because the um, they're quite expensive, 250 So the thing that makes this belt the best belt for this build is own eight additional stacks of focus blessing um, so it changes the base effect of focus blessing to plus to six percent additional minion damage additional means a multiplier so that is eight times six so it's giving you a 48 percent multiplier of your damage if you did um, a million um, total damage with all your extra minion damage, minion um, d damage on weapons, etc. Let's say you do a million damage. If um, if this was just plus minion damage, you would just be adding 48% to your already plus 900% or whatever. However, because this is additional minion damage, you are times in your 1 million by 1.48 and you are doing practically 50% more damage than all of your other calculations in one go. So that belt is absolutely insane. Uh, there are a couple of rings that you can get if you dealt um, cold damage. However, with this necklace, you cannot deal anything other than physical damage, so it doesn't work. Uh, boots are self-crafted with cooldown recovery speed of mobility skills, uh, max life, life regen, plus one minion skill level, uh, some erosion res and some movement speeds. My rings self-crafted again, minion damage, regen life, max life, uh, resistances, same with this one. Uh, weapons again self-crafted. Minion damage, minion skill level, spell skill level, min summon minions is a spell, so it's just plus four minion skill level. Uh, aura effect, cooldown recovery, and chance of minions to deal double damage. Uh, that is both of my rings. My hero memories and relic. Uh, overloading core, hero memory effect is pretty much king. Uh, minion crit strike rating is also really quite nice. Um, these could be better. Uh, I've just had these ones forever. Uh, minion damage, minion max life. Minion max life, uh, self-destruct damage. And minion max life and add players um, life to the minions base life. Um, so that's all of those. We'll just do a quick Path of the Brave 5. I could do a, a two, but it would be rather boring. So I'll do a five. That's a bit of a showcase. All the skills, uh, passives, etc., are all exactly the same. Um, so you can go back in the video if you want to see those. And yeah, so this is 
the easiest Path of Brave that I've done. Uh, I know there are builds that do all this faster. However, uh, I thought about respecking to other builds, but I really just wanted to stick it out with this one for this league. And then next league, maybe I'll play one of the other builds that's uh, insane. Knowing me, I'll probably stick with uh, minions because I like minions in this game and I just got stomped so you do take a fair chunk of damage in this so if you're not careful you can get one shot um, just run around a bit hopefully the game doesn't lag too much I don't know why my computer's just started to uh, cark it so we're up to the boss now Path of Brave 5 only has 5 levels and the boss is uh, the Traveller, but it's... So you've got the beginning and the end Traveller, and then you've got this Traveller, and this Traveller has, a, I would say, 100 times more health than the end Traveller. Um, but, I mean, he still dies reasonably quickly with this build. You just got to avoid all of his damage because he hits like a truck. And the thing that I love, I love, love, love about this build is it is very easy to play on mobile phone. So Path of the Brave, uh, one, two, three, and four, you can definitely play on mobile while on the train or um, watching shows on TV or anything like that. And it is exceptional for that because you have so much burst, you have a fair chunk of tank, and it is just really, really enjoyable to play. You don't have to pay much attention. Um, I'll do a Path of the Brave 2 just to show how ridiculous um, this can be. Uh, I did a Traveller um, the other night in bed and I got distracted by the TV and then I looked up and everything was dead. Um, so let's quickly load it up a Path of the Brave um, 2. 2 is probably not a good example because the, uh, the fire damage can actually kill you so you might have to move a, a tiny bit. However... Now, I'll just stop casting. Uh, my minions are just auto summon, and um, as long as you hit D to go to the next level, it'll just kill everything. So every few seconds, you just press D, it goes to the next level, and you just win. What is Ardor? I've never heard of that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's, that's kind of crazy. It's basically AFK farming. Uh, makes base traveler an absolute joke because you just do the uh, cutscene, you press one button, then you just come back um, 30, 40 seconds later and collect your loot. It is uh, quite crazy, quite fun, uh, very low skill level required. Uh, you do have to purchase this, however, next league you might have enough um, points to just be able to buy it. Oh, we got some damage coming in, so I just popped my um, my shield and my... Did I pop them? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, there we go. I should have moved. I knew it was coming. <clears throat> so these enemies drop a lot of um, damage on the ground. And even if you have an absolute crap ton of uh, tank, it still can kill you. Which is a shame. Uh, so we've actually had an insane amount of stuff drop in this one. Um, so I'll just sit here and let my minions kill the boss. So two acute, three flame elementium, uh, a skill, a couple of cards and ardor gloves, whatever they are. Uh, so I haven't cast anything since the start of this and there we go, we win. So that is the high-end version of uh, this build. 
I can quickly do a traveler as well. Uh, I bought a couple. <laughs> I bought a couple of the ends. Um, I was just searching and they were like 0.65 each. So I figured, oh, why not? I haven't done the beginning um, tests in a while. <laughs> so I bought 750 of them. Um, I'm going to run them all, uh, see what drops, etc. So I'm just going to go up here. Uh, there's another little showcase. When he appears, I'm just going to cast uh, two spider tanks and that's going to be all I cast. So one, two, did that? Oh, there we go. Anyway, so they're just going to keep casting um, and that's going to win me the fight. So really fun build. I'm really glad how it turned out. Uh, the addition of the frost shield and stone skin just added those couple of extra auto defense layers. So this, they're just constantly casting up the top there. You can see uh, reform, uh, barrier is going, frost shield's going, stone skin's going, frost shield's going. It just keeps going and going and going. And with auto defense and pro precise auto defense, they're always casting all these extra layers of defense. Um, you can still die to super juiced maps or um, not paying attention to boss mechanics and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I think I've done this guide to death. Um, if you have any questions about the build, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll try and address them as best as I can. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, most importantly, comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you very much.